Now, today I'm going to continue with the Sid Boombox project, of course. And for those of you who do not know, uh, I'm doing a project at the moment, which, you know, I have been doing as a major project, one of my biggest projects I've done to date. And uh, if you wish to watch the previous videos where I have created, you know, the power board, the regulator board, uh, the automatic power switcher, and also the audio board here, then I've linked my playlist, which I've put all the videos of this project in order in the description below or the letter I over here. I keep automatically pointing the wrong way. <laughs> anyway, now today what I'm going to do is, you know, add to the collection of parts, which are, you know, modular parts of this project and do quite a major part, actually. And that's the VU side of things. Now, of course, I'm not gonna do it all in one go. I'm gonna, you know, break it down and do parts of it, different parts of it in different videos. Now, these VU circuits, thankfully, I do not actually need to build them on the breadboard because I've already tested these. I tend to only build circuits on the breadboard which I'm testing out or I need to amend them or anything like this. Now, this one is actually the battery indicator which is actually quite nice and simple uh, this only of course I need to build one of these uh, so that's what I'll be doing today because okay, so I want to start building this here I'm just like trying to plan it out where on the board now one thing which I've noticed is that I have included here a hundred nanofarad capacitor normally on this circuit, there's a 100 nanofarad capacitor between pin 4 and 5, as close to the chip as possible. I remember that very well, because I remember it didn't work, you know, when I put it far away from the chip. The entire circuit just didn't work, and it was really doing my head in. So yeah, that kind of thing you remember. Because over here, I made sure to put here between 4 and 5. You can see there. So I'm not sure why I did not label it here. Maybe I forgot. Okay, so on the circuit board here, there are only five LEDs. However, I'm going to be using nine on this since there are nine. No, I plan to put nine um, LEDs on the panel here. Now this entire board will have quite a few things on it. So I've decided to put this huge capacitor here as a reservoir. All the terminal pins are connected now so I can just connect the wires onto that and I'm gonna have the resistors next right next to the LEDs on the the board the separate board that's gonna be uh, joined onto this thing here so pin 3 here is plus faults so that's pin 3 I'm gonna make it go to here this is plus faults tell whether that's a bridge or whether it's just a reflection. Let me test this first. Yep, that's fine. What I've basically done as well, I've put a terminal block, uh, that's screw terminal, sorry, in between pin 3 and uh, plus faults because um, you know, I want it to be like a switch. You can switch on the battery indicator or off. You know, because if it's constantly on, it's going to be using power and it'll, you know, it'll aid in draining the battery. So I don't want that. So, you know, you can press the, or push the button for it to be shown, the indicator to be shown, or you can just, you know, turn it off. 
So pins six and seven are joined. Okay, so pin eight goes straight to ground. Make a track all over the ground. decides whether it's a bar or if whether the IC is working in bar mode or dot mode. So if you connect to the plus files, it's in bar mode. If you just leave it as it is, it's dot mode. So I want it to be bar mode because it's a battery level indicator. When you want to create these tracks, you have to take the temperature down or else it's just going to goof around like it just was if it's too hot. Okay, one thing that I'm realizing that's not going to be as straightforward, actually it's going to be a little freaking annoying, is that the resist the different colored LEDs, despite them coming in the same pack when I bought them, different colored LEDs are at different brightnesses, depending on, you know, it's, so it you cannot just put one resistor in them, you know, and that's going to annoy me. Normally people would be like, okay, whatever, but that, that would annoy me, so I have to just make them equal brightness. So let's test which which colors, which values suit which colors. Okay, I think I found the sweet spot. Just messing around with this for like about 20 minutes or something. <laughs> Half an hour I think. Even. So the sweet spot is the orange one 3k, around 3k, and the other is 2k. And they don't get hot or anything. Any value lower than this, they start getting hot. No, it's just fine. They're pretty cool. And the brightness is okay. It's a touch dim, but that's okay. I mean, it's fine for a battery level indicator. Actually, it's it's pretty fine. It's not so bad. The only other option I can think of is giving the LEDs their own power supply, as in you know, using a regulator with a five volt. A no, five volt regulator, sorry, seven eight oh five, and powering the LEDs with that, you know, with different value resistors. Yeah, they're gonna be a little. I mean, I have to position the LEDs differently. They won't fit this. So basically, what I'm gonna have to do is just uh, bend them slightly. So I'm gonna have to mount them with a little of the legs showing. I cannot mount them flush to the board. So I'm gonna have to bend them all in a position in order to fit this. Now one thing which I have to remember in this circuit, which has thrown me off in the past, is that the positive is common. And the negative of each LED goes into different pins of the chip. I'm so used to actually doing common negative that I keep making this stupid mistake and I have to kind of undo it and it's, it's not fun. Okay, so that's all done. I need to test it once again. See if it's all good. See all these terminal pins here now. Let's connect the positive at the top. Turn the power on and it should be... Yep. Good. 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 Good, good. I like the orange colors. Good and good. They look fantastic. Right, so now that I've finished this um, circuit, this little, it was such a pain to do, but I've done it. Also, what I've done is between each, well, on each LED, on the front side and back side of it, I've just gone over it with a black permanent marker to like reduce light bleed between the LEDs. So just so it, you know, it just looks a bit more, they look a bit more defined when they're lit up. 
Okay, so this circuit is going to be here on this side. Can be stuck like that. And that's the, yeah. So the actual battery meter is going to be, I think, over here. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's going to be on this side, like this. This thing here. So. Okay, so I'm just going to... This. How much do I need? A little bit of leeway. Now the tedious task of stripping all these wires and soldering them onto here. Okay, so I've uh, finished putting this together now, and let's test it. There we go, it's working. You can see it's um, fully, the bar is fully up. LEDs just need straightening up a bit because they're a bit, you know, I've crudely put them into this casing. So yeah, that is full power, 12 volts, and you can actually adjust it here, by the way, with this variable resistor. You can adjust, you know, the value. You know, I've adjusted it to be full at 12 volts. Now I'll lower the voltage from my my bench power supply. And take it all the way down to the 1, which is... about six volts I'm pretty sure they said boom packs are not gonna last at six volts or maybe so certain things will stop working but that's yeah six volts so yeah fantastic works as I was saying the next part of it I'm gonna start with the VU meter circuits the actual LED VU meters I'm excited about that I mean this is looking great and it's working perfectly just as I want it. I'm gonna add a switch to this by the way uh, just so you can like have it on or off you know switch at the back of uh, the sit boom box itself anyway so that's all for today thanks so much for your likes your shares please do leave your thoughts in the comments below don't forget to check out my other videos and do subscribe for more not forgetting to hit that bell icon also, a huge thank you to my patrons for all their support, especially to my top tier patrons Electronscape, Axel Dominator, Rich Garbut, Robert Menes, and Chris Sablensky. Do see the video descriptions below to check out my patrons' websites and YouTube channels. Adios!